today we're going to talk about a few of these choices. And um, what's maybe your make top a, choice? My top choice, probably Dallas Buyers Club. Really? Yeah. I, I just feel like Matthew McConaughey That's not what in that I role. You were gonna say. Really? <laughs> what? I don't know. Bad Grandpa. No, that was last weekend. I know, but it was you know. program. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Cinefix Now. Today we're going to be talking about what you should be watching this weekend. What's coming out this weekend, Noah? There are a million what? films coming out this weekend. I feel weekend. like that too. I feel like yeah. it's like Halloween's over and everybody's just going to be super tired and at the movie theater. Yeah, there's like nine solid films coming out and probably more than that, like if you count a, a lot of indie films. But there's I'm nine excited. films with like Hollywood A-listers in them and... It's going to be a really crowded kind of, you know, the marquee is very crowded. Yeah. So there's a lot of choices. So let's check out some of the choices. Okay. What's first up? First up is your favorite. My favorite? Oh. I do actually have the book sitting on my nightstand. You do? I haven't read it. <laughs> it's My friend gave it to me and said, read this. You will like it. So do I have to read the book before I see the movie? Yes. You have to speed read it today. Can, okay. I'm going to do that. And I'm then really go good to the movie reader. tonight. While we're talking about the Ender's Game, if you didn't know, uh, click the link somewhere in here um, where I sit down and talk with an, an Ender's Game expert um, and hear all things Ender's Game. Mm -hmm. I, I am not necessarily sold on this movie. Really? Yeah. I, let's, let's check just it out. Even check out the trailer because there's just a lot of sitting around in this movie. I, I just but feel it's like it's almost... sitting around in a very pretty environment. Right. But I, <laughs> I'm just worried. Look. That's super sitting around. That was really. like the past. It's like all these super bad things happen. Around. You're. No but I'm just saying, Harrison Ford is sitting. I don't see around. anybody sitting. Harrison Ford is old. Sometimes you have to sit when you get no, old. No, but Harrison Ford, <laughs> like, look, he's just standing. That's not. He's sitting. not moving. Uh, you're a liar. <laughs> not a liar. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you're impossible. It's true. The people walking upstairs. It's good. That's I exercise. Always like that. Sitting, looking at a monitor. Mm -hmm. I, it's just, I don't see a lot. Maybe like, there's a lot of character development and story, which it isn't what we normally get in these kind of movies. It might be cool. <laughs> I just, I'm worried that it's like he's just as if he's an avatar, you know, mm -hmm. and he's in this kind of uh, situation where he's controlling a game, you know, and I, I just worry that you're taking Harrison Ford, who to me is still like a big action hero, you yeah. know, and. He's just standing around giving this kid orders and. Because he's old. Yeah, but I want to see him <laughs> kick ass, and I just don't I'm feel like he's that. gonna kick ass. He might. And Ben Kingsley, that's craziest so tattoo awesome. ever. I love him, Gandhi. <laughs> I hope this is a good movie. I'm just worried, like it's. I think a lot of kids will go see this movie. I'm gonna go see it. And you are? Yeah, I'm well, a kid. You're a kid. <laughs> but I don't know that anyone over. How old are you? Never well, mind. 12. I don't know that anyone over 12 is really going to be into this movie. Hmm. Okay, next on the list. Next on the list is Las Vegas, which I actually saw last night. Yeah, tell me. I loved it. I thought it was going to be more sad than it actually was. Like, really? it's the last time they go to Vegas. Like, somebody's dying. I thought it was going to be, like, bucket list. But it's just funny the whole way through. I will say I've seen this trailer a bunch, and so yeah. I... I feel like I've seen the entire movie, and all like the best parts are definitely in the trailer. Really? But there's there's some heart. It's cute. Okay. It's sometimes you need those movies to just be able to go. I mean, I cried. But you yeah. cried? I cry in everything. <laughs> there's a little sentimental part. My friend okay. thought it was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so your no friend's laughing crying. and you're crying. Yeah. <laughs> well, he was laughing at me for crying. It was good. <laughs> What's so that was the, my favorite part. Wait. No, I love this. Yeah. We're talking about it. That's the whole point of this. We're talking about it. But the there's no, sh there's no did, shushing that's, this in is the talking problem. about I the did movies. that in the movie. Like this I would, I would say to my friend, I was like, oh, watch this part, as if I'd like seen the movie a hundred times already, because I knew exactly what was going to happen. Like well, every I mean, joke is here. That to me is a problem with this movie. I mean, I haven't seen it yet, but it's like I feel like I've seen this movie like yeah. a thousand kind of iterations of this movie, the yeah. bucket list, and all. I mean, these are all amazing actors. I was just gonna say that was the part that was so good. Like even just tiny little lines of nothingness is yeah. so well delivered. So does that? Do you think that stuff gets too obscured by the big premise of going to Vegas, or you know, would it, would this have been better if they're like out just in the desert? And dealing with Maybe. stuff. Maybe. Uh, I think it would have, they didn't use Vegas as much as, it's not the hangover. Everybody's saying it's the hangover for users. But it's <laughs> not. 
I mean, it's there's a lot more heart then uh -huh. in the hangover. They don't go and nearly it seems like over it, the top. It seems like it has kind of a world's end thing kind too, of. right? I feel like With the, the kids could have been used more. Interesting. They were really well cast. Well, certainly like turtle. <laughs> turtle, yeah. <laughs> For the younger crowd, they're trying. To, uh -huh. That's where they're like trying to get. The, yeah. You know. They're making a new Entourage movie officially. That's good. That? No, that'll be great. I love Entourage. Me too. Well, definitely, like, Ender's Game skews very young. This potentially skews kind of older. What's yeah. in the middle? Is there anything in the middle this, this weekend? weekend? Dallas Buyers Club. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Well, let's watch the trailer <laughs> for super. Dallas Buyers Club. <laughs> it could. <laughs> you never know. No, you know what I think skews kind of in the middle is Keanu Reeves' directorial oh. debut. That's true. In Man of Tai Chi. Okay. Let's um, check this one out. Yeah, I yeah, this is for everyone. What's this looks rated? really cool. Is it it's PG? rated G. No, it's rated R. <laughs> it's rated R. <laughs> I mean, it could be 13. Yeah, I mean. I don't know that ratings really mean anything anymore. I take my 13-year-old brother to everything. I'm a bad influence. I like that Keanu's directing. You know, I think it's mm -hmm. it's great just to just to step behind the camera. He's obviously in, in this it, movie yeah. too. You know, but um. You know, I, I it like it when actors take control, you know, and really try something, you yeah. know. And obviously, there's no guarantee that it's going to work. Right. But you know, it's it's. I think it's a good thing. I mean, Charlie Chaplin's my favorite filmmaker <laughs> and actor. So you know, the guy's like, you want him to to direct and be in the movie. Yeah. And I think Keanu, <laughs> he knows what it's works. It's cool and that this they don't even introduce him till that far into the trailer. Right. Too. You're right. It, it's, it does have a lot of a Matrix feel. Yeah, I mean, totally. just the style of it, which is cool. I mean, you can't go wrong kind of impersonating yeah, no. the Matrix. Um, hopefully it goes beyond that. It looks like... Oh, I think it'll definitely be that. It looks like the story is like he's found... Keanu's character has found this guy who just kicks ass mm -hmm. and is the best fighter, and he's tempted by glory. So, you know, he's like going to start fighting for money, and right. then it just becomes this whole other scenario. Um I hope that works. I, I'm a little worried that that it's not. You know, I, I don't. I don't want it to turn into like a WWE type thing. I don't think it will. I hope not. You know, <laughs> but it looks like it's televised and he's doing yeah, it like a performance. That's so it's curious. Do you think Keanu's going to be a good director? I think so. I mean, it, it, so far. I mean, based yeah, on the trailer, the trailer, of course, you good. can't quite tell with the no. trailer, but um, the fight sequences look totally phenomenal. Awesome. You know, so. That could not necessarily be him, too, though. <laughs> well, but Someone I mean, that's certainly him, him saying, I want the, yeah. these choreographers to, mm -hmm. you know, work on the fight sequences of this movie. That's true. Because um, obviously, that's what you want in this kind of movie. Um, yeah, we'll see what the what the actual dialogue scenes are yeah. like, you know. But um, it'll, I, it'll be fun. It'll be a ride, for sure. I, th <laughs> I feel like Keanu is, what it takes to direct to me is just unbridled confidence. And mm -hmm. I feel like he has that. And good or bad, at least he's going to make a decision and say, this is what we're going to do. Yeah. Versus a director who's like, I think, I think maybe I we'll try good. this. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure. So I feel like that's that's a good starting point. So I actually so are you think gonna that's going to that be... I want to see this movie. I'm okay. worried that it's kind of a limited release, so yeah. I'm not sure uh, how well it's going to do. But I, I, I think it'll be good, though. I think it's going to be really cool. All right, let's watch one more trailer. <laughs> Dallas Buyers Club, I mean... I'm really excited for this one. This looks like, you know, Matthew McConaughey could, you know. What's his name? Ron. Matthew McConaughey. No, Ron. I <laughs> remember. Or down middle. <laughs> okay. Dallas Buyers Club. I'm really excited for this one. And how did he lose this weight and get? He lost I mean, 50 pounds for this whoa. role. Yeah. That's crazy. Apparently, he's back up like 40 pounds. He still has 10 more to go to get back to his like pre-roll weight. So is this going to be kind of a Tom Hanks, Philadelphia kind of role for so Matthew McConaughey? So it's or? based on the true story of Ron Woodruff, this guy who got was uh, diagnosed with HIV mm -hmm. uh, and wasn't accepted into the clinical clinical trial, so he went over the border to Mexico to get AZT. Right. And, and he brings it back. But he's homophobic and is really freaked out about, he's, he's saying he's not the right guy to, like, they misdiagnosed they him and they up. got yeah. the wrong guy. Yeah. But, yeah, then he turns into this hero. And he starts getting these drugs from mm -hmm. Mexico to, to give to people that have 
exactly. HIV. It's incredible. I mean, it's an incredible story. He looks phenomenal in this. I think it's, so it's too. It's just amazing. With 50 pounds. I think this is really important for him because I feel like we've not liked Matthew McConaughey for a while. <laughs> well, and this is all. Th this <laughs> no. is also Matthew McConaughey, like in his world, like the Texas world. That's yeah. where he's from. That's where he started mm -hmm. as an, you know, as an actor. And it's just him being him versus like trying to fit into some other Hollywood role. Yeah. You know, this is. This just feels like he was born to play this role, and he's a great actor. Yeah, I'm really excited for this one. I think it's going to be a big one, a big contender for awards and everything. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. No, yeah, you know, it's hard to say. This is one of those things, and, and with a lot of, like, awards-type movies, they mm -hmm. don't necessarily do as well in the box office. People, yeah, no, you know, I don't think this one will be huge at, by any means. Right, but I, I do feel like it's, it's definitely a, a contender come Oscar season. Yeah. And he's just such a cool he's so looking cool, guy. He's so cool, yeah. Too. I saw How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days Ago with you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. He was great in that. Yep. <laughs> Jennifer I Garner, love her she's too. great, yep. I saw her in the street once. You did? I was like, <gasps> like it seemed like a friend or something, and then I realized it was her. Did she like so karate chop you? Like? No, she was like, oh, yeah, it's me. I mean, <laughs> she didn't say that, but it, that was the smile she gave me. Right. <laughs> I was totally like, oh, she's just. I, you're awesome. going to cry in this movie. Oh, I'm going to cry, for sure. I'm already <laughs> going to cry right now. <laughs> no, it's a really compelling trailer. I mean, this is one of those trailers where you're like, oh, wow, this is a powerful movie. Yeah. Um, and maybe they give a little too much away. I'm not sure. Nah. But I, okay. it certainly, I think, does what a trailer should do. Mm -hmm. It makes you want to go see the movie. So, mm -hmm. Dallas Buyers now Club. I'm depressed. Don't be depressed. <laughs> it's the weekend. Come on, Mackenzie. If I see this movie, I'm going to be sad for days. Maybe I shouldn't go see it. I'll Although I've been, not. Uh, smell roses in the air. <laughs> so there's a lot of other films coming out this weekend. You got Diana, which I doubt is going to be Has any been good. Panned. Yeah, Naomi but Watts she love looks Na really pretty. Yeah, I love Naomi Watts. I feel like no matter what they do, trying to make a re like a story of Princess Diana's life, everybody's going to hate it. Yeah, like even if it were the best movie ever, everybody's going to hate it. To me, it just feels like this is a made-for-TV movie. Like, does it really belong on a big screen? I you know, I'll watch I it on know. TV and love it. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. <laughs> Free Birds, the animated film, which I don't know mm -hmm. how well that's going to do. No, the Immigrant, uh, Mr. Nobody. There's a lot coming out this mm -hmm. weekend. Definitely let us know what you go and see and, um, you know, what rules your world. And what you liked, because then I will go see that. Will you? <laughs> I need some, some recommendations. It's too tough for decisions to make. Mm -hmm. And if you know of like a good makeup remover uh, that Mackenzie could try. Why? Huh? Go! <laughs> hold them up there! Hold them up! Go! <laughs> it's working, Ray! Start bringing them down. Start bringing them down. You got him. Don't cross the stream. Right. Maybe now you'll never slam a guy with a positron collider, huh? <laughs> Make me shorten your stream. I don't want my face burned off. <laughs> All right, I'm opening the trap now. Don't look directly into the trap. <laughs> I looked at the trap, Ray. Bring your streams off as soon as I close the trap. Get ready. I'm closing it. Now! Did you hear about Breaking Bad? Yeah, it's over. I'm bummed. Yeah, no. Apparently, Katzenberg is at MIPCOM in France right now talking to the creators of Breaking Bad about offering them $75 million to create three additional episodes. <laughs> That's insane. Well, first I'd like to say thank you so much, Alex, for joining us. Uh, I'm just going to come right out and say it. I thought you were going to be man. I didn't know that women could be scientists. Okay. That was nice talking to you. Oh, uh, please, please, please don't go. Uh, we don't have an episode without you. Maybe you want to see something more lighthearted, like Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2. Can't wait to just grab up some kids and go see this movie. I mean some friends with kids, not some kids. That's creepy. Just gotta find some friends. Oh, jokes. Hmm. Whoa.
you can act? Apparently you can, since now SNL will hire you, though only to stick pieces of your body into other things, mainly boxes, and mothers, and Lady Gaga. That's enough to land you the lead in several Redbox-ready movies in which you do an okay job. 